Hey folks, uh, we're here setting up for the first annual North American Alpaca Shearing Contest and we have Matt Best uh, who organized with me, this is Jay. And uh, Matt's going to talk about how to properly tension comb and cutter. As new shearers um, get started, uh, tensioning is usually the issue when we get a phone call. And what will happen is um, fiber builds up under the cutter often when there's not enough tension. So Matt, would you show us um, what happens with proper tension and without and see if you can demonstrate uh, the way that you tension properly with the swing of the body of the shearer. Okay. Sure, Jay. Uh, when we have proper tension, we're going to make a nice easy cut. The shears should actually flow through the alpaca with very little pressure. And I'll make a stroke with proper tension on the hand piece so you can get an idea of what that's like. We had a nice, easy cut. Now, um, when I talk about tension, there, there's two types of tension, and we typically talk about startup tension first. And startup tension is uh, kind of a balance. We're working to get within a range of tightness of the Coleman cutter. We have to think of the Coleman cutter as multiple pairs of scissors. And the tension actually pushes the top blade against the bottom blade, and that's what makes it cut. When you first put a comb and cutter on the machine, you want to have enough tension to keep the comb and cutter together without flying off the machine, but we don't want to make it too tight to cause excessive heat buildup and dolling of the blades quick. So an easy way to do that is just to hold the machine and twist the tension knob with your finger and thumb and you'll reach a point where you can wiggle the machine. So can you show us that again with not enough tension and does the knob spin? The knob spins fairly easily. Okay. And we'll get to a point right about there where we can wiggle the machine. So Great. that's enough tension to go ahead and start the machine and try to shear. Startup tension may or may not be enough tension to actually cut fiber. Okay. Now I'll show you what's going to happen Easy girl. when we have just a little bit less tension on the machine. Pretty well cut. Anyway, <laughs> but you can see that we've got some some dragging right here. You can see that it's also making uh, it's actually pulling the fiber and not cutting it as cleanly as we did from here up when we had good tension. So we get start up tension on our machine and we try to cut fiber. We may have to give it a little bit more of a twist. Great. Thanks. Anything else, Matt? Bye. Wonderful. Good luck in the competition tomorrow. I always uh, buy all my equipment from Light Lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>